We know you are excited about the Independence Day, so are we, and we can help you to make your holiday more tasty with cookies, pot and roller from Southcut. We will start with Image to 3D tool and select the pattern. We will use Symmetic Star pattern specially for Independence Day. If you are using the same pattern, set the amount of value to minus 15, so stars will be concave inside. Also, switch on anti-aliasing to make model smoother and set one to tolerance. Now click confirmation button to finish pattern setup. Now we need to make a cylinder from it. For this we will use bend tool from the form section. Turn on dynamic origin in advanced settings, so we can bend the object in accordance to the central dot and set the value of Z-axis to 360 and that's exactly what we needed let's rename the object just for visual comfort let's continue with the cookie roller creation start by measuring the hole size guide tool can be very helpful in this case Put the dot here and on the other side too. As you can see, the size is approximately 43.5. Close the panel and create a cylinder in this size. Set top radius to 21 and the bottom radius as well. Cylinder should be a little bit smaller, because there will be a small clearance that can obscure during the printing process. That can lead to unsuccessful model assembly. Also, set vertical segment to 32 to make model smoother and click apply. Now rotate the cylinder on 90 on Z axis, then select pattern roller and open scale to checkbox. Here, X axis has value 200. That means that cylinder death is 200. So, our new cylinder needs to be of the same size. Now use Align Utility to align it with the central of the first object. Choose Cookie Pattern as a reference and select the middle in Align Settings. Perfect! Start handle creation by changing a view mode. Set top view and auto graphic projection to make the workspace look like a canvas to make a drawing easier. First, select both objects and hide them. Next, turn 3D sketch tool and using line tool draw a half of a handle shape. You can draw any shape you like or simply copy my shape. Now change the projection back to perspective and rotate drawing by minus 90 on X axis. Next, using Revolve tool Turn your profile into an object. For this, pull a red line. Just like this. Now use inverse selection to select and then delete the profile. Move the handle to the center using move tool and center object option. Now use screw and nut and set the radius to 21, pitch to 11 and treat scale to 8. Finalize it and scale on Y to 60 and center the object. Make the object smaller with Keep Proportion option on. And set 70 on X and move the center again. Select Screw and create a copy using Copy Offset. Set X and that size to 4.
use stitch and scoop with option difference. Now unhide all the objects and select handle and screw. Rotate them by 90 degrees on that axis. Now use a line with merge object center to center the central dots of all objects. Then choose mesh as a reference and middle right in a line. So this is what we have. Now we need to move the screw. We'll use a line again with the same options. Select the handle and make it a little bit smaller and it's ready. Select the screw and the handle to create copies of them. Setting position in copy offsets with zero values. After that, group selected objects and use mirror tool. Then to adjust it on the other side, change the X value to opposite, minus 179 in our case. And that's all. Now I want to show you how to create a logo that you can put on the handle. Uh, to do this, you need to create the base first. I will create a cube with the height 10 and depth 40. Let's hide all objects we don't need now with the help of isolate option and use image to 3D. I select needed logo. And click flip background and anti-aliasing to smooth the object. Uh, if you see something like this or there is something wrong with the object itself, you need to minimize the tolerance value. Uh, rotate text on 90 degrees on X axis and then scale with keep proportion with 90 on X axis as well. But the handle is round, so we need to add polygons to the logo. We can't just bend it, because it will break the geometry of our logo, so select the rectangular base and use resolution with detail level 6. And now, as you can see, we have more polygons. And use merge object. In such case, we have a solid object that can be bended easily. Uh, first, let's rename the object and align it with the handle. Using right and middle options, And set the value 50 on Z axis and minus 40 on X. Now rotate the object on 90 degrees. And reduce the size with key proportion option of course and set Y to 65. Move logo closer to the handle and now use band tool with origin option middle. Z value set to minus 100. And look, we got what we wanted. 
Now only left to correct the size of it and show all objects. To make models perfectly printable, we need to go through a few steps. First, ungroup the handles, then select them with the watermark and use Merge. Select all objects except screws and the central part and hide them. Select all that left and merge the objects. Now select each object one by one and rotate it by 90 degrees on Z axis and move a little. When you finish, move them on Y axis by zero. Now scale all objects, for example set Y to 180 and move to center. Select each handle and apply magic fix. First handle was tolerance 250. Second, 180. And other objects, 250. And that's all for now. Self can wish you a happy Independence Day.